Hello everyone this is Charu here and I wish you all a healthy state of mind and a good immune so with this I welcome you to my third video lecture of chapter 8 geometry so in this video we will understand about two topics number 1 perimeter and number 2 circle in perimeter we are going to do perimeter of triangle perimeter of square and perimeter of other polygon in circle construction of circle then parts of circle center radius diameter circumference relation between diameter and radius and chord so let us begin with it first of all we are going to read about perimeter So what is perimeter the sum of length of all the sides of figure is called its perimeter that means sum of length of all the sides of figure of any shape sum of all the length is called perimeter now rohan want to measure the length of his long exercise book with a 30 cm scale the exercise book was this book is 28 cm long and 18 cm wide when he measured the two other sides he found the same measurement so what he found 28 cm 18 cm 28 cm and 18 cm these are the measure of all the four sides of the notebook what would be the length along the four sides of the exercise book what could be the total length of this book of all the sides so it would be 28 cm plus 18 cm plus 28 cm plus 18 cm This is equal to ninety-two centimeter. Now look at the picture: twenty-eight centimeter, eighteen centimeter, twenty-eight, eighteen, twenty-eight, eighteen. Now when we are going to add it, it becomes ninety-two centimeter. This length along the edges or the boundary of your book is called the perimeter of notebook. So what we have found? we have calculated the perimeter of the notebook now we will calculate perimeter of some other shapes so our first shape is square we know that all the sides of square are equal square has four sides and all these four sides are equal so here this is a square of side 5 cm each so its perimeter will be sum of all the sides 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 that means sum of all the sides 5 cm plus 5 cm plus 5 cm plus 5 cm which is equal to 20 cm or 4 multiply by 5 is equal to 20 cm now sum of all the sides of square is 20 cm that means perimeter of square is 20 cm now what you have to listen is now things to remember number 1 the sum of length of all the sides of a figure is called its perimeter number 2 to find the perimeter of square we will multiply the length of its side by 4 why we are multiplying by 4 because square has four sides and all the sides are equal so rather than again and again adding it 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 we can easily multiply 4 multiply by 5 is equal to 20 four sides each side is 5 cm 4 5 is a 20 so we can find the perimeter of square by multiplying 4 with the side of square 
Now third point is if the side of square is 3 cm long then its perimeter will be 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12 cm. So basically what is the perimeter of square? 4 multiplied by side. Now this is the perimeter of square. Next is perimeter of triangle and other figures. Since perimeter means the total length of the boundary. So if we add the length of sides of polygon we will get its perimeter. So whichever polygon we have we will add the length of all the sides of polygon. Now our first figure is a triangle with the sides 6 cm, 7 cm and 8 cm. So how we will get the perimeter? Sum of all the sides. 6 cm, 7 cm and 8 cm which is equal to 21 cm. So perimeter of this triangle is 21 cm. Now next figure is a polygon which is of four side and in our last video we have read a polygon with four sides is known as a quadrilateral. So this is a quadrilateral with the sides 6 cm, 7 cm, 2 cm and 9 cm. So perimeter of this quadrilateral is 9 cm, 6 cm plus 7 cm plus 2 cm which is equal to 24 cm. So here perimeter of this quadrilateral is 24 cm. Now next is the third figure is a pentagon. So the perimeter of this figure is sum of all the five sides. Perimeter is equal to 10 cm, 4 cm, plus 6 cm, plus 7 cm, plus 5 cm, which is equal to 32 cm. So, perimeter of this figure is 32 cm. Now, I hope this is clear. Now, we will solve 2-3 more examples and we will find the perimeter of these figures. Now first is perimeter of square. Now this is a square of side 2 cm each. So what is the perimeter? 2 cm plus 2 cm plus 2 cm plus 2 cm is equal to 8 cm. Or perimeter of square we can find by 4 multiplied by side. 4 multiplied by 2 is 8 cm. So perimeter of square is 8 cm. Next, let us find this perimeter of triangle. A triangle with sides 5 cm, 6 cm and 7 cm. All we have to do is add up 5 cm plus 6 cm plus 7 cm is equal to 18 cm. So, perimeter of this triangle is 18 cm. So, this was all about a perimeter of shapes. Now, our next topic is circle. What is circle? It is a shape made up of a curved line. The circle is a curved shape with all its point lying at same distance from a fixed point called the center. Circle is a shape to formed when from center all other points we are drawing and at a same distance from it. So this is a circle and this point A is called center of the circle which is fixed point. So in the given figure A is the center of the circle. Now is drawing circle. Or construction of circle. Number one, you can draw a circle with the help of a bangle or a bottle cap or also with the help of some coins by moving the pencil along the boundary of the 
objects so with all these bangles buttons and bottle cap you might have used them to draw the circles secondly you can also draw a circle with the help of a pair of compass so this is a compass what is compass a compass is an instrument in a geometry box the compass has a metal point on one arm and other arm a pencil can be attached and these two arms can be stretched by stretching the pencil holding arm more we can draw a bigger circle by stretching this more we can draw a bigger circle and by stretching it or compressing it we can draw a small circle now by stretching the pencil holding arm this arm we can draw a bigger circle or by compressing it we can draw a smaller circle now use these steps to draw a circle with the help of a compass our first step is keep the metal point of one arm fixed on a sheet of paper keep the metal point arm fixed on the paper number 2 stretch out the arm that hold pencil the arm which hold pencil we will stretch it now number 3 keep the metal point fixed and move the pencil arm around it so in this way we can construct our circle now let us see first of all attach your pencil on the arm of compass tight it both the arms of compass that is the metal one and the pencil holding arm they should be at same level then fix the arm of the metal point into the paper and keep the metal arm fixed and move the pencil arm around it like this keep the metal point fixed on the paper and move the pencil arm around it like this we can make our circle so i hope everything till here is clear rest of the topics of circle we will do in our next video so till then take care and stay safe thank you